Well, the theater, which has benefited from grants from the city of Niagara Falls, has not responded to the I-team's request for comments. Also tonight, new concerns about a proposal many worry could kill the farming industry in New York State. That proposal calls for overtime to be paid after 40 hours of farming instead of 60. And farmers are already dealing with other increased costs like feed, for example. Last year, they are paying about $150 a ton for corn. This year, that price has soared past $270. Reporter Hannah Bueller tonight on what kind of impact this new proposal might have on Western New York farmers. On Bittner Singer Farms in the Niagara County hamlet of Appleton, it's the perfect fall day for farm workers to pick red delicious apples. These are people who want these jobs and they're going to go somewhere else. Currently, a farmer must pay workers overtime if they work more than 60 hours a week. The change was made in January of 2020 as part of the Farm Laborers Fair Labor Practices Act signed by then-Governor Andrew Cuomo. But local Republican lawmakers and more than 20 farmers in Niagara County say a newly created Farm Labor Wage Board is recommending overtime to be paid to workers after 40 hours instead of 60. That means the farm would have to pay its workers time and a half after that worker has reached 40 hours. Farmers who say 50% of their total cost goes to labor tell me that will be unsustainable and will drive workers to other states. We're farm workers from other countries, triangle countries, Mexico, that have said, if you lower this, I will not be able to make enough money to support my family and I will go elsewhere. State Senator Robert Ort says farmers who make an average of eight cents on every dollar a consumer spends at the grocery store says there's just not enough of a profit margin to pay workers more. There is a price that is set for those products. They do not get to name their price. So whatever their labor costs are, they can still only, you know, Wegmans is only going to pay so much for that produce or for the milk. And so they're price takers, not price makers. Farmers say in New York, as opposed to other states, the seasons are shorter, so they have to make money when they can. And that may mean workers need to work more than 60 hours to make it happen. We produce a lot of things here, and people need to start looking for, for local. If they, really want, if they really care and want to support Western New York farmers, they got to go out of their way to ask, where did this product come from? The Department of Labor tells me Farm Laborers Wage Board will reconvene between November 1st and December 15th to decide. In Appleton, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.